Hey you guys, we're gonna go ahead and make a beaded garland. And this is how you start. You just buy regular plain beads. And these are a size 19, I think. And then you're gonna paint them. So I'm gonna show you exactly the paint I used. I used this white chalk paint, which I brought at Walmart, as well as this orange, beautiful, beautiful orange chalk paint that I brought at Walmart. So you can buy both sizes. This is the two and then this is the eight ounce. So they both are there. If you wanna buy both of the small ones, that's even better. So I'm gonna show you a little trick how I paint them. I put them on the back of a small paintbrush and then I go ahead and paint them and let them dry. And this is what I end up with. And look at how adorable that is. So we're gonna keep letting that dry we're going to make sure our hot glue gun is running. We're going to use a twine and a good pair of scissors. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to get the twine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a knot like that big, even bigger if you want. I'm going to use the hot glue. This is going to be great for a fall garland as well. You can use it for... Halloween, fall, any of those occasions, it's going to be great. Once it's nice and dry, you're going to go ahead and make a knot. You don't have to make a knot, but I suggest you make a knot so that doesn't move anywhere. Once we get started, we're going to go ahead and just measure this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a ruler and my scissors. And I'm gonna use this ruler that I have. So I'm gonna measure that. Then I'm gonna take it to seven. And then I'm gonna do just a little more because I wanna make the knot as well. So don't get scared. Go ahead and just get a big chunk of it. And we're gonna get started. Now I'm gonna start off with the white. See how that is so easy to pull. So now before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hot glue gun and I'm gonna like, like burn the tip of it, not really, but add glue and then go like this. And that's gonna keep it from falling apart, from shedding, from anything that doesn't let you do your beautiful garden. Go ahead and grab the orange and then keep going with the white and then alternate. And I want to end it with a white. So if I started with an orange, I want to end it with an orange. If I started with a white, I want to end it with a white. That's how I like to do my garden. This garden is going to be double hooped like this because I'm going to use it for my centerpiece. So if you want to go ahead and make a tassel on yours, I have a video where you, it shows you how to make the tassel super easy and it's not going to go anywhere. Trust me. So go ahead and do that. If that's what you want to do I'm gonna go ahead and use mine for a centerpiece so therefore I'm gonna make a double knot so yeah look at how gorgeous this is gonna look this is for um, fall you can use this for Halloween you can use this for fall for Thanksgiving it's gonna look very pretty I love this orange it's one of my favorite oranges I love the chalk paint. I don't know why. Ever since I started using it, I haven't went back. All I use is my chalk paint. And then for the kids to paint, I use regular paint, which I pick up at Walmart as well. I do have a video if you want to go ahead and check that out with the prices of the paint. On Instagram, I'll go ahead and link that down below my Instagram so you can go ahead and follow me there. It's also DIY with Susie, so that is super cool. Now we are almost at the end of this. So as you can see, I did 26 and I split them. I made sure that I did one extra of the white. So yeah, I end up doing 26 because I usually do 25 just so I could end it with the white. So you can go ahead and do whatever you want, but this is the way I prefer it. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the hoop as well. 
like that. So I'm going to cut it right there. I'm going to grab my hot glue gun. Oh, if I could reach it. And I'm going to just add a little glue right here and close it down. So just with your fingers, melt everything together. Once you got it, you're going to make a... We're going to make a knot. Why the knot? So I don't want nothing moving. Once it's in there, I don't want nothing out of place. Go ahead and make your knot. And look at how easy that was. Now, if anything like this stands out, you can go ahead and glue it down or just cut it off. Since we already have the knot, it's not going to go anywhere. If you want to make a tassel, like I said, go ahead and check out one of my other videos. And uh, it'll show you really quick. But look at how cute this is. This is my fall tassel. And this is going to go around my centerpiece. It came out really pretty. I am really happy to have to share this with you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And until next time, bye you guys.